Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Red World. I'm your host, Mr. Italian Union Lover. But we got to talk about that there European Communist creative. The National Congress of Italy convened today at the same time as various legislative bodies around the EU met. And there's only one agenda for each chamber. Sure, they dissolve the respective communist parties and forge a political coalition spanning one continent. They would actively work together to form a united uh, uh, European Union unanimously. Each parliament agreed to President uh, Napa. Napolitano's call to action in the League of, uh, League, not, uh, not League of Nations, but League of European Communists has been officially proclaimed as a political party in various nations. Commies in Italy were divided over developments, as some would label them as Euro Communists, while many others are still loyal to the Soviet Union, and despite Giorgio Napolitano for a subbing of his superpower, or snubbing of the superpower. Intriguing, but we're trying to unite in the EU right now. We've got some comms to go through as well, so. It's time. The hour of destiny is beckoning. Europe, a continent long divided, shall soon be divided no more. Brave comrades from all across the continent worked ceaselessly and tirelessly for months to make the moment at hand a possibility. Swept away will the nation be states be, replaced by the European Union of Socialist Republics, as the Red Banner shall wave forevermore over Europe. As it should. Now, even though I like seeing all the streets, I kind of wish, it could, like, was it in the latest Soy 4 DLC, like, it just disappears, so we just, like, focus on what's here, but, you know, whatever. Destroy the Mafia, we still gotta do that, all that stuff, too. Uh, correct on national descent. Nationalist descent. Get southerners working again? Even though a capitalist past is to blame for the inequality between north and south, there are noted differences in work ethic. Those lazy southerners need more incentives to work. Or perhaps we could be a bit firm in our words. Equalizing a country requires efforts of everyone, from the Alps to the Sierra Calabresi. Oh, we should go on. Um, honestly, I'm probably going to go superior firepower. I mean, that's always the best one to do. Um, Grand battle plan is usually what Italy likes to do, generally, but I could be wrong, but, you know, I think that's generally what they like to do, but we're going to go this one anyways. And what do we have here? Better artillery, yes, please. It is, of course, 2013. What an awkward year for quite a few people. And I hope all of you were born after, or before, not after, but before 2013, because if you were born after 2013, I'm going to feel very old. <sighs> so, anyways, some comments. First one. This will always be one of my favorite mods, F for Kaiser1871. Yes, unfortunately he did pass away, which is terrible, but, you know. Um, F in the chat for Kaiser1871. Someone says, The Red World mod is basically the communist version of TNO. Uh, so, and someone says, uh, YouTube recommends does not recommend Hoi4 after he watches this video. It recommends Europa Universalis, which is a game I never really got into too much. At least on this channel. Off this channel, I did. But on the channel, not really too much. Uh, someone says, Rest in Peace, Kaiser1871. Someone says, Do more Red Roll, please, or Kaiser Redux. I think you go back to Kaiser Redux. Um, someone says, With all my respect towards you, I suggest you should try to oppose communism. Not sure if you're able to do that in the mod, but can you try it? Yeah, there are there are different paths for Italy, so there's quite a few different paths. We'll get them all, well, maybe not all, but m hopefully most of them eventually. Yeah. And someone else says, Italy. Yes. This is Italy. Wow, we get, like, no political power. Being a European Union member sucks. Oh. CSA and the uh, American Union started killing each other. Oh, wait, no, that's wrong, the wrong mod. The American People's Commonwealth is killing the American Republic. Now, let's see if you can defend Northern Virginia. It's going to be really hard because using the mountains of West Virginia as a defensive measure is extremely effective. And of course, there's the. the what is this? The Ohio River? It's really, really tough to crack through, too. Uh, we can still get mobilized, but, you know, we're working on it. What are we building up? Millies, Sylvies, nice. Good stuff. Yeah, we're lacking stuff here, but what else is new? How's our Navy doing? We're out of fuel. Not oh, good. But we do have a carrier, at least. Quite a few carriers. Um, um, oh, they're also fighting the Great Lakes Confederation. Huh. Dominion Theology. That sounds like fun. Uh, Steven Weber. Looked like a really young guy. <coughs> John Foster. Looks like he works at, like, Microsoft or something. You know, Lincoln, this guy, Spencer. Preston Manning. Paternalistic conservatism. Wow, I really focus uh, folk on the output. Toshio Tomogami. Lee, of course. Uh, Vladimir Putin, agricultural focus. You know, I should play as a Union of Soviet Socialist Republics again. The political bureau of debate, because I did play as Putin before he did stuff in real life. And I went with, uh, maintain the path? No. Russia. Uh, I forget which path I went. I played as, I'm pretty sure I played as him, so. Um, but I should play someone else. Gorbachev. Rutskoy. Huh. True reforms embrace a revolution or embrace a state. Glasnost. New Union. Democracy. And the American Commonwealth is going to try to kill everybody here. Alright, well, good luck to you. 
Good luck trying to get rid of everybody. And put them under one banner. Not always easy to do. Uh, 2013, 2014, what else have we got? Uh, medium tanks? That's a little ahead of time, but not by much. Oh, here, radar. Yeah, that'd be nice. Keep building. Looking pretty good. Pretty darn good. And it's taking for Okay, so that's why it's taking forever. We got another 50 days. Unite the European Union. The time has come. All documents have been signed by the appropriate leaders and the Communist Party Congress that officially dissolved Italy's in a national entity. <laughs> Which is kind of weird to think about. In its place shall be the glorious European Union of Socialist Republics, or as one nation, not as a confederation of many, but first. All relevant members must accept the treaties, and we can't guarantee that certain opponents will, uh, long live it. Europe. Let's we'll see what happens. Whoa! Whoa! We got... Oh my god! That's actually really good! Um... Ilian... Ilian Vlad has accept, thankfully accepted our call to arms and demanded that the religious body immediately dissolve the Socialist Republic of Romania as a national entity. Ooh, look at that! But we're cut off there. Due to their immense control over the lowest levels of government, this will surely be passed quickly, and finally our two nations can be united under the glorious banner of Europe, one that doesn't succumb to the Soviet order. Poland accepted. Luxembourg, of course, accepted. Netherlands accepted. Hungarian Republic refuses. Hung Hungary just likes to refuse everything. The Resolent Arts unfortunately rejected our calls to arms and demanded that the legislative body immediately condemn our actions on the continent, as well as remove themselves from the European Union as an organization. Due to their mess control over the lowest levels of government, this will surely be passed quickly, and two our two nations will remain at odds in the coming months and years. Time will come. The Germans accepted the French social state, as well as Czechoslovak, and the Bulgarians accepted, as well as Belgium and Albania. Almost every single one. All, all except for, like, Hungary. Like, bro. Oh my gosh. Um, you know what? I'm probably going to do this off-screen a little bit... Oh, Fausto, good job. You you balled so hard, but you know what? It's okay. We all will ball it eventually, including myself. Oh, God, no. But, um, yeah, that's actually really cool. So, of course, an old guard is probably more like dissolve the High Council. The High Council, a defense has served us well. Perhaps we need to rethink our military organization once again. But the Italian army to be a modern ar army, or a European army, we might likewise have a modern high command. Support workers? Why not? The workers of Italy on the true torchbearers of a revolution. The blanket increase of benefits and pensions, we can show them our gratitude for their hard work and for the social state. High Council dissolved. Uh, Fausto Bertinotti has just announced at the latest meeting of the Italian High Defense Council that the aforementioned body will be dissolved all to make way for the new military administration. What kind of administration this will be remains unknown, but it's highly likely that Fausto plans on reshuffle the entire admiralty and many of the generals who are part of an old military clique lasting since before the communist victory in 1984. Intriguing. Well... Uh, support workers. The workers of Italy are the true torchbearers of the revolution. With a blanket increase of all benefits and pensions, we can show them our gratitude for the hard work and the socialist state. Craft down a nationalist dissent. All over Italy, and now the integrated EU, our socialist state is under assault from a resurgent and right. Claiming that our works are hard, but merely sell out, cry, or sell outery to the Bolshevik menace. They're attracting more attention than what their slanderous words are warranted. No need to worry, however, Mr. President, these fascists will quickly be crushed. Um, honestly, with United EU, that's pretty much it for terms of conquest. So we're going to go to war with, uh, Swiss, because why not? Because there's a whole bunch of other stuff you can do down here. Which gives you way more stuff to do, technically. But, uh, you know, whatever. We chose the route that just unites everybody. So we'll deal with the EU. Actually, we are the EU. We'll deal with the Mafia, I mean, and do the best we can. And honestly, we'll probably try to take out the Soviet Union, because why not? Why not? What else are we going to do here? Um, you know more world tension. Which we're trying to cause, like I said, we're trying to take out the Swiss. We've got a long time to wait, so. Yeah, we'll do that one and then crack down on national dissent. Promote gender equality. How can society be equal if the two genders aren't represented and treated equally? Uh, socialism only for men is no socialism at all. And for our female comrades, it does done as much for the revolution as the male ones. Showcase economic superiority. Italy has been the second most politically and economically powerful nation within the EU, so we showcase that superiority. Mafia Alliance. I kind of want to destroy the Mafia. No corruption here, please. Every single Don is now an enemy of... Uh, the Union. Do, do what must be done. Do not hesitate to show no mercy and end corruption culture. Despite mass propaganda, corruption has survived in Italy for many decades. Clearly, a different approach is needed. The SISS will be put to the task to cleaning up a government apparatus from top to bottom, which with harsh punishments, punishments for corruption to be issued to any and all corrupt officials. A few public examples should be made, uh, should be enough to scare the rest. Campaign against Mafia. Italian divisions of police are now actively hunting down Mafia underlings throughout the country, while intelligence agencies are beginning to track down bosses. This is just merely the first step in a renewed campaign designed by President Napolitano to purge Mafia from Italy. While previous campaigns have been relatively unsuccessful, with public opinion clearly in favor of peace men and a peaceful resolution, early results are always showing that their power in southern Italy has been greatly diminished. Just last night, a secret meeting between Doms was ambushed by security forces with zero casualties. 
An interrogator believed these bosses could be convinced to give away valuable information in exchange for the life. Finally, the people of Italy can be at peace knowing their administration has taken real action against this repulsive threat to destroy them. Also, send divisions to Turkey because they're fighting the Soviets, so... Yeah. Um, a bunch of Stalinists here. A lot of manpower. Extensive conscription. Export focus. Early mobilization. And we're doing okay. You know, but... Wow. Wait, what happened here? Oh. It's probably because of this thing. Yeah, ideally political power goes down. Minus 450 political power. Yeah. Not great. But we'll work through it. But we can go to war with Switzerland now. It's kind of nice. And corruption culture. Uh, despite mass propaganda, corruption survived in Italy for many decades. Clearly a different approach needed. Did I read this one already? Yeah, I did read this one. So I'll probably add for reading this one. I can't remember anything anymore. But it's time for us to have a little bit of fun ourselves. You guys are here. Yeah, that's right. Uh, you guys are over there. And you guys are over there. So, Oh, wait. I put both of you guys here? No, there's no way. Who, put, who did I put over here, then? Then why are you right here? I don't understand what I'm doing anymore. Who cares? Just go in. Sorry, Turkey. It's not like we can justify on the Soviet Union anyways anytime soon. Should be pretty darn green. Only 100? That sucks. Sorry, right, though. Give us our own army XP to work with, which is actually what I wanted to wait to get. Um, overwhelming firepower, so we just add artillery. It, it, that'll save so much XP. It's not even funny. Oh, I'll just add on... Ooh, we're gonna be out of guns and artillery, aren't we? I want a crap ton of artillery. Holy crap, that might be a bit too much. As long as the organization's not too low, that's what I really care about. It's gotta be at least 40, so... Replacements with artillery. There you go. At least 40-some organization. There you go. Is that gonna really hurt us? Oh, uh, yeah, that killed our artillery. But I kinda expected that. There you go, do that. We got more than enough guns. Guns are cheap. 15. Cool. Losses 4,000 versus 33,000. Why do we take them out? Because we can. That's literally it. Literally the only reason. Hey, we got them. Now, unfortunately, they're not a core of ours, but whatever. It'd be cool they were. But, you know what? That's okay. And we still need to go to war with the Union Soviet Socialist Republic, so that's what we'll do in time. Yeah, you guys all get to here. Actually, we might take a hungry first, but we have so much negative political power, it's not even funny. Like, that's really bad. How do we how do we know what's going on here? Uh, so it's gonna take us some time. Crack down national dissent as well, though. Nationals threatened to destroy a harmonious way of life, demanding their irrelevant state be granted full independence from the Italian Union. Well, unfortunately, for the past two decades, we've been able to completely stop them in their tracks, but it didn't take long for the president to convince his cabinet that a strong show of force was the right course of action. Instead of negotiations and appeasement, the Italian military and police have orchestrated a coordinated crackdown on national dissent throughout the country. Soon, the last remnants of these repulsive groups will be wiped out the face of the planet, and it will be one again. Of course, then we'll do an end corruption culture, uh, research teams. With our university no longer clogged by corruption, we can finally make sure that our plentiful research grants actually reach our research teams and move that Italy can lead Europe in scientific development. A strong party. Communists are unstoppable in this country. No, no one can match our strength anymore. We look to the partisan and the struggle against Nazi, Nazi fascism as a long last come true. As we parade victoriously past the flower by the mountain side, let us cherish our sacrifice that paved the way for the PCI to cement its place as the liberator of the people. Military advancements. Advancing our the military should be a top priority for the administration. Our soldiers will need the best training and equipment for the time's head. Nothing less will do. I'm proud of Italian army. Our soldiers can finally be proud of the forces they serve in. With a bandiera rossa waving proudly by their heads, as our armed forces march to victory, we can be certain that they stand firmly behind the party and proud of the service of the cause of communism and new weaponry. It is a strong armaments industry, with some of our factories and companies going back to the Renaissance. While the Pax Subotica has meant that they haven't exactly focused on building the newest firearms, they haven't let this armaments industry deteriorate. With the winds of change blowing, it might be on time once more to put them to And work. now, everyone, we're doing a couple things before we go to war with Yugoslavia, Italian air technology zone. The war is not a question of the flashiest weapons or the smartest generals, but of industrial logistics. But with the flashiest weapons in the air, we can render or reduce enemy industry to cinders and thus deprive them of this key warfaring asset. New strategic bombers are a must as we build the armed forces of the future. Tanks of Europe, and there goes Belize. Uh, the venerable tank has been a mainstay of the army ever since the First World War, and even as armies geared for warfare in the age of electronics, it would be unwise to disregard the potential of an armored cracked canyon. And technological revolution. Warfare has a tendency of making the most of whatever technology that exists, and who knows what that potential, our current basis of technology holds. Our military engineers are definitely eager to find out, they just need to go ahead. Ships of the Med. The Italian Navy has long held a history of competence. And even today, our admirals can carry that legacy onwards. For this new age, however, they all need newer ships. Let's give them some. And have our ingenious ship designers drop some new designs to rule the Mediterranean with. And then up next, we'll go to War with Hungary, and then we're allied with these guys too. And it takes 125 days. Not bad, not bad. Uh, the These guys lost their war, which sucks. 
Because now they're part of these guys. But we caused, I think, a crap ton of casualties. I could be very wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure we caused an insane amount of casualties to them, which is nice. Yep. At least I hope so. Can you guys go in and do well? Or God's already there? Can you do well? It's a real question. Actually, I didn't even edit you guys yet. Which is probably a big old mistake. Whoops, my bad. And get some regular motorized. Want more org. Lots of org. There we go. Now see she probably logistics as well. Give her that anti tank, it's fine. Go with motorized recon, it's fine, whatever. Doing this during the middle of a war, probably not the smartest idea I've ever had. That's alright, because we can throw you guys here too. It's fine. Losses, 6,000 versus 6,000, not very good, but whatever so far. Um, you guys aren't even on, mostly on the front line too, anyways. Yeah. Let these guys come up here too, that'll be fine. With all these infantry, and these guys are 40 combo with, so I'm not really concerned about it too much. 18,000 lost. I'm, I'm just not, I just not concerned. We got plenty of manpower on limited conscription, so we got a partial mobilization too. That'd be nice. Can you cut them up? Can you make an encirclement? Yeah, they made an encirclement there. That's not bad. We did see a task force, which is pretty nice, though. No ships left. Good. Got plenty of equipment, though. Keep training, people. Let them expand west and east and whatever. It doesn't matter too much. Let them die. We get some better medium tanks, though. Could use a little bit more rubber, which is pretty normal. Slowly running out of fuel, but whatever. Uh, got some of this too. A couple more refineries, not bad. 24,000 versus 138,000. Now, finally, we're doing okay. Doing a good amount of damage, and the cast would be way better, but whatever. Not bad. Most are, yes. It's going to be a partial mob. I should have bought with fuel just a little bit too. And there goes those guys. More difficult than I would have liked, but whatever, you know. Now get ready for the big old bear. And now, everyone, it's almost time to go to war with the Soviet Union, but we got to talk about new soldiers. The advent of mi miniaturized electronics has not just been a boon to the history, but also the armed forces. Even then, so much potential is yet unrealized with electronic equipment. The other two unimaginable avenues for aiding the common foot soldier have been open. We should develop a carefully, a fully electronic combat suite for our brave men on the front lines. National Recruitment Campaign. Even with all the best equipment and the wisest generals, nothing will be accomplished without men to carry that equipment and fulfill the orders of the command staff. We should encourage all young Italians to join our armed forces to bolster our ranks and protect our fraternal homeland. Speech to the masses. As our armed forces are reforged, we should remember to celebrate them. Fausto Bertinotti. Bertinotti. What a national televised speech thanking all those who made the sacrifices necessary to keep Italy safe and sound. Italian uh, air supremacy. Or really European air supremacy, more like, so. <clears throat> there are no plans in Europe like ours, but behind every good plane, there ought to be a good pilot, and well rehearsed, in the tactics and strategies of air combat. We must emphasize training for both of our brave comrades in the air, as well as the comrades on the ground, and in the control towers as well. And new naval command. 2,000 years ago, we called the Mediterranean, Mer Nostrum, or Our Sea. While well, 2,000 years have gone, a new power has come and went, and we must not forget the past. With a shakeup of the Italian naval command, we can finally set sail and make it the Mer Nostrum once again. But, now it's time to go to war and see what we can do. Now, I love this open, because we'll have to do with these guys too, but whatever. Um, hopefully we can do well with these guys. They're still war with the Japanese, but you know, you never know. We've got, like, no fuel right now, which sucks, but whatever. Um, Living Union. Let's grab a whole bunch more fuel from them. Should do okay against these guys. They've had plenty enough time to get more max planning and whatnot, so... Got some plastic explosives. Sounds like fun. Um, yeah. We'll see. These guys are completely cut off. And... I'm going to use this too. You might as well. Thank you very much. See what we can do. You guys should be able to wrap these guys up pretty darn quick Ali. Not a good factor with those guys? Sure, why not? Losses are out in the 130,000 some odd range right now, which is uh, pretty decent, I'd say. Budapest, Frontline City, pretty good, pretty good. Go ahead and kill all 25 divisions there if you can. As we're slowly trying to push forward this way, too. Huh. 
Taking a while to kill off 25 plus divisions, so. Of course, these guys are pretty thick at this point, so uh, it's pretty good. We're going to be running out of a lot more fuel, but we got enough to do this. There. Way more fuel. You guys could go there, or we could just do this as well. They might have access to somewhere else, but that's alright. Um, you guys go that way. And there goes Hungarian Republic. Thank you for playing, Hungary. Um, not bad so far. Not bad. A little odd saving, never hurt anybody. Well, actually, it has crashed my game before, but whatever. I'd still rather have it than not have it. Ooh, what do we got down here? Ooh, actually, that's a convoy. That's not good. What are you guys all... Oh, I, I told you guys to not do anything just because, uh... Well. Fuel's expensive. Current fuel is 97,000. Daily fuel gain is 28,000. But I think it's between the air and the army that need the most. We could use more fuel, but still. 2017? Hey. Feels like 2017 was just last year, but no, that was five years ago at the time of this recording. Oh my goodness, actually. They have up to uh, 459 divisions, 458 apparently. Lost a mil half a million already, not bad. Let's go take some time though. Actually, Norwegian Federation. There you go. Graspically increase the amount of fuel we get. And then I want you guys to do this as well. Find the ships. Ooh, we lost a sub, that sucks. For convoys, that's fine too, whatever. And new naval command, of course. Convoy's gonna go bye bye. Lost a sub, sunk a couple more convoys. Ooh, our ships found each other, that's not good. Ooh, we're gonna be losing a lot of guys here. Yeah, it's because they got more planes in the air, really. We're doing the battle, though. We lost a couple ships, not good. They shoot in quite a few enemy planes, though. Once we get control of the Constantinople, or Constantia, or whatever we want to call it, we should be okay, but still. Wow, we lost most of our subs already, go figure. Yeah, once these guys are all gone, that'd be great. Well, that's training center, let's go and grab that one too. Um, you guys just keep going on, it'll be fine. Alright, nothing really there. Some more convoys, so be it whatever. You guys actually go here. Yeah, there you go. You actually might be able to break over. Maybe. Maybe. How many divisions I've left? Not really sure. We'll put these guys in here too. I'll definitely help us out. I mean, they're 40 combo width. We're even bigger combo width, which is good. So, as long as we don't run out of fuel, that's probably going to be the biggest thing for us. If that's a case, I'll do it like this. I'm going to leave you guys here. I'm going to have you two, the rest of you guys, go to here. Help out supply, you'll just defend, and when we get back there, it should be okay. Shrubbin soldier? This probably should be. Um, we got a lot of planes as well, not good, but we do have anti-air on every division. Not bad. Let's move back as you can, it's a little ahead of time, but whatever. Sub lost, ooh, task force sunk, good. Use them planes and sink whatever you can, as fast as you possibly can. Oh, the Navy showed up. That's not good. Um, yeah, that's not good. We lost another lockers in two ships. We sunk. We a few planes, though. We're not doing so well right now, but I can't imagine they have a lot, ton of stuff left. Like, seriously. Yeah, they got a lot of guns. They're out of Artie. Are we out of Artie? No, we're not. So if we keep it up, they literally won't be able to do very much against us. You have that. Go get as mad as you can. And now, of course, we didn't finish our land auction either, which sucks. But whatever. And where are we at for this stuff? Wow. Of 
equipment conversion, 2017, gonna grab this too. We're gonna need more fuel probably as well. Let's grind, we've lost a lot. They've lost 1.37 million, which is not bad. Um, I want you guys to specifically focus on this area down here. Let's go to efficiency. Uh, after this, not really much else here. If that's a case. Resistance suppression, naval production, air production. You can focus a little more on air. I mean, air is going to be the, the biggest thing between us two as a nation. There we go. There we go. And then some more drones would be nice. We've got plenty more fighters we'll send out too, so I'm not too, super worried about that. This air's gotta be god awful. You got tons and tons and tons and tons of planes. You over here, army morale, nothing over there, no. You want to have upgrades yet? No. I mean, they can't come back from having no artillery. Yeah, they died. That's good. I'm not trying to attack us here, which is fine. Once we get in here, I'm going to just flood this way. If we possibly can. Good. Get in and go. Just vamoose. Just drive. No war economy, huh? Mighty good extensive conscription. Very bloody. And that's alright. Wow, that's a lot of convoys gone. Um, prepare as much and as often as you need. Oh, yeah, that's gonna not be bad for us. How many factories does Vladimir Putin even have? So they're running out of armored cars. Guns are doing okay for them. Like, no already. Fighters, they're completely out, which is good to see for us. We're definitely not completely out. So eventually, this should all be green air. Like, this is like the last batch of planes that they have. That's the last ditch effort to save the Ukraine. So, up here, we're doing plenty of damage. Actually, the northern area is actually expanding or pushing very hard compared to the south. The south is struggling quite a bit, so. This is stupid. They should be suffering some extreme attrition here. They really ought to be. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. If I get the encircle here, it's not my fault. It's literally not my fault. It's... I'm not going to tolerate uh, us getting encircled here. Yeah, no, I'm sorry, but the game is being dumb. And, and here we are, much, much, much deeper into the Soviet Union. We've lost about 1.2 million people here. Whatever, it is what it is. We've killed off over 4 million Soviets, which is, uh, I think, a pretty good thing. Uh, Putin's not doing so well right now. He's about a million or so in hemp power, excuse me. Roughly or so. Uh, we've really dropped the amount of guns he's been able to field, which is very good. Um, Navy-wise, still pretty good Navy. Um, how are we doing over here, actually? we got green air. Not bad. Not bad. Overall, not bad. Um, not enough anti... Uh, anti air, huh? Oh. I didn't want to use you guys for, uh... Armored cars. I guess we have no military police, eh? Yeah, I'm gonna remove that. We'll use you as military police. There you go. Should have put down a lot of things. Nice. And guys are learning quite a bit. Um, combined arms. Yeah, go into that one. Cavalry combined arms. Go and use combined arms. You can be cavalry dude if you really feel like it. And I don't really care about that one too much. Anything over here? No. Anything over here? No. Cool. Cool. And we almost wrapped them all up. You guys completely ignore these guys, huh? There you go. And heavy ships, because you can. 88. Ship designer. <laughs> Uskudar. Hmm. 
Yeah, and at this point, like, by the time we get over here, it's really bad. It's god-awful fighting through here. Did I even raise conscription level? I'm not entirely sure if I did or not. Did I? Yeah, I did. There aren't a sense of conscription now, which is fine. Cool. Very nice. Good job, guys. We actually got some there. I do want to throw you over here, but supplies are going to be so god-awful. I'm like, should we even do that? Probably not. In all honesty, probably not. Maybe we'll give the Japanese to Caitlyn, because they haven't done very much, but whatever. Um, over here, you got to grab some of that. You grab some of that. You grab some of this and that. Pretty much, you do the best you can. Um, is it possible? Well, I guess not. Make resistance contacts. Just I wonder if we can make it and set up a collaboration government. That'd be quite nice if that were to be possible. But supplies are so bad that not really. Gotta make sure we maintain our aerial superiority as well. God dang, 85% and we're still not, even, still not even close. Oh boy. No, that's not bad. Things have definitely calmed down here a little bit more. We've got four ships. Plenty of carriers. Yeah, carriers are just not very good. I mean, you want you want actually like sturdy heavy battleships. They're really not even battleships. What is that? There's a light like cruiser meta. There's a lot of different, a few different metas at the time it's recording. They don't really pay attention to too much on all honesty. Let's go look see, because we have a lot of attrition, which means they have a lot of attrition. Um, plenty of factories. They've got, oh, they're almost completely out of guns. We've done very, a very, very good job of reducing the amount of guns and manpower that they can field at any one time. Which is always a very big old plus for us. Ooh, get me in here. Yes. We will gladly welcome that. 500 army, or air XP, I should really say. Smoke and fire, additional breakthrough. Um, speed would be pretty nice, too. Flexible organization, smoke and fire, or we can just go with this and just go to mechanized defenses. Go, 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 y'all. They're currently at 87%. So, but I'll see you when they're about done. Well, I didn't know this is called the Soviet Japanese War, but they're 99% of the way there towards capitulation. 6 million have died. We've lost about 1.3 million. The Japanese have done absolutely nothing. So, we're still expanding. Uh, all they get is the Sakalin. That's literally all they get. They've got about 200,000 manpower left. No guns. They got some anti air. They got some armored cars. No artillery. Got some heavy ships. Even bigger heavy ships are very nice, too. We're almost there. We're all so close to capitulate them. The game's going to like super hard when we actually do. That's okay with us. Of course, we'll take everyone else. But there we go. Not bad. It took a while. It's kind of a grind. I know the. Hey, I didn't actually cheat, but you know, I got frustrated when they tried to encircle the guys over there. There you go, Japan. That's your reward for doing literally nothing except losing like 14,000 guys. And I'll take everything else here. Yes, please, thank you. And, uh, Hungarian People's Republic, thank you very much. It could only be one real block here. Only one real strong block. But hey, the European Union, looking not too bad. Of course, it would be helpful if we had all the other European states and nations, but you know. That's all that focus really has for us. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great, great, great European communist rest of your day.